Hello, everybody. Welcome to Inside with IAIS. Once again, we're inside of our outdoor replicated longhouse. Today's story is going to get you up and get you moving. Let me look inside the rabbit bag for my reminder. Ah, there he is. So this story explains something that children have been asking for a long, long time. A long time ago, the women in the village were thinking, wouldn't it be nice if they could bring in an animal from the wild and raise that animal amongst their children? That animal could be a protector, a companion for their children, especially when they go off to look for firewood and such. So they sat many, many nights and the native women were talking about different animals. One of the women suggested, how about a turkey? Would a turkey be a good companion and protector for children? No, said one of the other mothers. Turkeys, how could you hug a turkey? You get feathers up your nose. And besides, they fly, they make all that noise. Oh, that would not be a very good choice. Another night, one of the mothers suggested a turtle. How about a turtle? No way, said one of the mothers. A turtle is so slow. By the time it got to the children, it would be too late. And besides, if you hug a turtle, it's kind of hard and slimy. It wouldn't be a very good companion. A little while later, one of the mothers said, how about a bear? What if we brought a bear cub into the, the village and raised that amongst our children? No way would a bear be a good choice, said one of the mothers. Bears might be cute when they're little tiny babies, but they grow up to be big, grumpy, old, stinky bears. And that would not be a good choice to be around our children. Finally, one of the nights, one of the mothers suggested a wolf puppy. How would a wolf puppy be? This one stumped the women in the village. They really thought about it. And they said, you know, that might be the best choice yet. But we can't just go and take wolf puppies. We need to go ask the wolf mothers for their, visit, their permission. So the women of the village arranged for a meeting with the wolf mothers. And the women of the village described what they wanted to do. They wanted to take those puppies back to the village. They would love those puppies. They would raise those puppies. Those, the children would take care of them, give them the love and the food and the warmth by the fire that they needed. The wolf mothers thought about this because often their wolf puppies are alone and often their wolf puppies are cold and often their wolf puppies are lonely. And they thought this might be a good life for their puppies, but they had one very important rule. Those puppies must never, ever, 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 ever pretend to be human beings. They must never, ever, 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 ever forget who they are for something bad might happen. And so it was the women of the village gathered up some of those puppies and brought those puppies back to the village. The children loved those puppies and snuggled with those puppies and played with those puppies and gave those puppies a warm fire to sleep beside. And those puppies grew to be very happy. One night, the puppies were sitting around the fire. You know, said one of those puppies, these people, they have a lot of fun. I think we, we puppies should have some fun too. How about tonight? We take some fire from the firewood, fireplace, and we bring it up to the top of the hill and poof, we start our own fire. Meet me there when you see the fire. So that night when everyone was asleep, one of the puppies crept into the fire. He grabbed a burning hot log and he brought it up to that hill and poof, started his own bonfire. And soon all the other puppies joined him. They sat around that fire and they talked and they laughed and they talked and they laughed and they talked and they laughed. You know, said one of those puppies. People don't just sit by a fire and talk. I've watched them. They sometimes sing by a fire. How about if we sing by this fire? Everybody sing with me. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! 
Oh, they laughed and they laughed and they laughed. This is so much fun. You know, said another puppy, they don't just sing by the fire. They dance, too. Dance? We can't dance, said one of the puppies. How are we supposed to dance? We have four legs. People have two. I have an idea, said one of the puppies. Get up and follow me. Everybody up. Put one of your front paws on a tree in front of you. Then put another paw above that one, and another paw above that one, and the other paw above that one, and another paw above that one. Look at us. We're standing. Now take a step back from that pole. Oh, we're on two legs for the first time. We got shaky legs. Let me see your shaky legs. Now let's try to dance. Take a step to one side. Whoa. And a step to the other side. Whoa, what a mess. We're stepping on each other's tails and we're falling down. I told you we can't dance, said one of the puppies. Not only do we have four legs, we have these silly tails. We're stepping on each other's tails. We're tripping and we're falling. Somebody's going to fall in the fire. It'll be a disaster. There's really a very simple solution, said one of the puppies. All we need to do is pop off our tails and throw them in a pile over there. So one by one, they popped off their tails. And they had this huge, huge pile of puppy tails. Now, let's try to dance again without our tails this time. Everybody up. You put one front paw on a tree in front of you, another front paw above that, and then a paw above that, and then a paw above that, and a paw above that. Take a step back away from that tree. Oh, this is the only second time you've been on your legs. Let me see those shaky legs. Take a step to one side and a step to the other side, and a step to the other side. Look at us, we're dancing. All right, let's see if we could sing and dance. Everybody now, ow, 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 ow. Oh, they laughed and they laughed and they had so much fun until one of the puppies yelled, oh no, we woke up the women from the village. They can't see us dancing, quick. Grab a tail, any tail, doesn't matter which one it is. Just grab a tail, pop it on, get back to the village and pretend you're asleep. So all the puppies dove into that pile. They popped on new tails and they ran back to the village and they pretended to be asleep. And this story explains something that children have been curious about for a long, long time. And that is, why is it when puppies meet each other, they snip each other's tails? It's because they're trying to find the one that belongs to them. They all got mixed up so many years ago. This story teaches a very invaluable lesson. lesson. Remember what the wolf mothers told the women of the village that those puppies shouldn't do? They should never, ever, ever forget who they are. They should never, ever, ever pretend to be something that they're not or something bad might happen. Same thing with you. Each and every one of you is different. You're unique. You're special. If you try to be like somebody else, that special gift that you were born with, that thing that you were supposed to share with the world, will never come out. It'll get hidden behind trying to be like someone else. So whatever you do, be proud of who you are. Be proud of your special talents and your special gifts because that's your purpose. That's what you're meant to do in this world. Thank you.